guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Nalini. I am an early childhood educator and a parenting coach. I am a holistic parent in universe where I help parents uh, to raise their child in a holistic way, focusing on their whole brain development. So, in this particular video, I am going to explain the reasons why your flashcard sessions or your right brain education sessions is not working. You may be thinking, why is it not working? Why my child is not paying attention? I see other children are focused, glued to their uh, flashcards, but my child is not. Uh, looking at it, my child wants to always move, my child want, doesn't pay attention, but uh, they are into something else. So here are some of the reasons which may be there, which is causing hindrance. So if you observe based on these ideas, then you can figure it out and you can make some changes to make it really alright. So come, let's get started. started. The first reason maybe is that uh, you're choosing a wrong timing. You are having a timing when the child is too hungry or too tired or too active, okay? So, so for right brain education, it is very important that the parent and the child, both of them should be very much relaxed, okay? The environment should be very relaxed so that, uh, so that you can actually open up the subconscious brain okay just imagine like doing a meditation okay when you are doing a meditation you cannot do meditation in a very chaotic environment when there is too much loud noises and all of that right and when you are very hungry or when you are very tired you can't go and do a meditation during those times your body needs something else but you're doing something else so it, it will be a contradiction you won't be able to do a meditation so similar to that right brain education is also very much similar to a meditation so uh, it is very 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 important that you are well fed well slept well rested and uh, you're not very much active but you are in the moment of you know going to that relaxation mode of uh, mode and your child also needs to be in the same way so that both of you can align uh, on the same environment same so it is very important that you have to observe your child and your routine to make necessary changes or necessary uh, arrangements when you can actually do the right brain education sessions it could be in the morning afternoon or night but make sure that both of you are relaxed well fed and well rested so that you can go ahead with your practice with a very calm and happy mind okay so the next reason is that repeating the same flashcards again and again over a period of time which can actually bore the child so children is more curious and they want to learn about different different things often they get really bored if, you, if they are using the same thing again and again you can relate this with any toy also you can see at the first uh, initial times when a toy is introduced the child will be more engaged with the toy but after a while they may not be more interested with that day it's just there they won't go and uh, look at it and maybe after a few days if it is reintroduced they will go back with the same curiosity similar to that right brain education also when you're doing of flashcards sessions with them you have to make sure that your child is not getting bored when you are introducing uh, materials in a frequently uh, different materials like weekly ones you if you're changing the materials then the child's curiosity will always be there and they will love to explore more things so don't repeat the same set of flashcards for a longer period of time it will only bore the child um, I have already given you this example of you know reading a book the first time you are reading a book you don't know what is the content inside so you will be very so once you have finished reading the book the excitement will be low and uh, if if i ask you to read the same book again and again for 10 times what will happen you will bore and you will hate reading books itself right so similar to that the child is also very curious when the material is being introduced with them uh, to them for the first time and uh, there, there should be uh, some set of repetitions but that shouldn't be too much uh, you know too much of anything is good for nothing so the third one is uh, you are choosing flashcards which is not as per the child's current interest if a child is a newborn or an infant you can see that the child is open to all set of flashcards whatever topics that you choose to show them they will be they will be delighted to watch that but if your child is a toddler they are moving around places they are getting a lot more exposure to different different things and you can see that your child is like something more than the other things for example your child may be like may like uh, animals a lot your child may like birds a lot so 
they may like cars a lot so depending on the child's current interest if you are aligning your flashcard sessions with the current interest you can see the curiosity is building up and they would love to explore more about that for example if your child is always playing with cars um, and you're showing the flashcards of animals and birds and colors and shapes you will, and you see my child is not interested in flashcards how about changing the flashcards to cars you can show them different types of cars different types of car logos you can show them parts of cars how the mechanism works all of these things can be introduced uh, in the form of flashcards so depending on your child's interest align the sessions with them number four is distractive environment don't keep your environment of where you do right brain education practice filled with toys books and so many other things which are very uh, attention seeking especially if there is a lot of toys in the room where you are showing the flashcards it's likely that the child will go and uh, choose those toys and start to play so have a distraction free environment for a seamless and uh, really good uh, uh, right brain education sessions make sure there is not too much of loud voice or people walking in walking out of the room so those things are really a great distractions and that may also cause um, you know attention issues so uh, that is one of the things that you need to take care of and the next one is um, you are not believing in the process or you are not believing in your child you may be thinking the child is too young to learn all this how a small baby can be able to learn and why do we do this is this necessary is it something that um, that is really necessary all of these doubts will be there in your mind so if you have such doubts make sure you clarify it you go and explore about it you learn why are you doing this okay many times what happens people have parents have this FOMO that is fear of missing out and they see a lot of other parents are doing flashcards and they buy flashcards and they start doing it but after a point you may be thinking like why are we even doing this is it really working and all of those stuff those doubts will come in so that's why you should definitely understand the what's and why's of right brain education be before you know how to do it many parents always focus on how to flashcards how many times i should do you will always ask questions about the house but you need to focus on the what's and why's that is more important than the house you may learn hows in just one or two just the uh, this many times this many times five times five, 15 times like that anybody can tell but why are you doing this what are you are doing that is very important to know that will help you to do it in a long run and it will help you to stay focused you will understand the child's brain development and you will understand how the child's brain is so capable at a very young age it is very very important for you to know if you don't know anything about this please come and attend my free master class where i teach you all this the baby's brain development what is the importance of uh, early brain stimulation and all of those things are covered in my free master class please come do and uh, do attend it so the next uh, uh, the next reason why uh, flashcard sessions are not working is um you are you are expecting immediate results this is the outcome of the previous point if you are not believing the process if you're not believing the child if you have a lot of doubts about the process and doubts about the child's ability to learn at a very young age then you are lead to this you are trying to find immediate results what you do you go and show the flashcards and ask them to pick this with that okay so if your child is uh, you know if, if you are a parent who is very new to right brain education please please understand that right brain education or whatever you do in the early childhood is will not reap you immediate results okay whatever you are doing uh, for example the body language that the child is acquiring in um, the way you speak way you react to they respond to their uh, tantrums or whatever it is all of those things are accumulated in the baby's brain and all of those results you will see only after a while you cannot expect the immediate results the, the during the early childhood whatever we are doing uh, for a during an early childhood is the is like putting the foundation for a tall building when you are when you are putting a foundation when you are putting a foundation to build a tall building you cannot see the immediate result of uh, 15 floors arise only by while putting the uh, sorry 
so imagine you are building a house okay you want to build a house of 15 floors now you want to make your foundation really strong when you are doing the foundation work you cannot see the result of 15 floors immediately you have to put in a lot of work lot of effort lot of time in building that foundation really strong only then you will be able to build up 15 floors or 20 floors or whatever number of floors that you want to build but while found, putting the foundation itself if you have doubts if you have uh, if you're thinking that whether this will i cannot see the 15 floors coming up if you have this question the foundation will stop right over there and there will be no progress at all so imagine the right brain education in the similar way you're building your you're planting a tree you cannot see the tree immediately you cannot see the flowers and fruits that it's gonna be your immediately Immediately, you are just putting the seed you are trying to nurture it that's all the care for the environment and you're nurturing the seed and you're nurturing the plant you uh, help them to grow once they grow it that is when you have you will you should definitely have patience and you have to allow a lot of time for it to grow self doubts and expecting immediate results are the huge hindrance for any early childhood practice just parenting itself I, I mean okay so focus only on the input what are you doing to nurture what are you doing to care what are you doing uh, what are what are you pouring in that is should be only the focus don't expect immediate results and the last point I want to mention is um, the reason why your right brain education sessions or flashcards are not working is this and this is my favorite this nobody will tell you i'm going to tell you this so of my own right brain education journey and also after training 3000 plus parents in the journey i am telling you this i always tell all my parents if you are worried if you are anxious about the process if you feel that the fomo is hitting you uh, you know everybody is doing i'm not doing i should do if you are that person 100% your right brain education sessions or will fail and it will also cause a great hindrance to your parenting journey because see right brain education is not just transmitting information it's not just showing flashcards it's not just showing a lot of encyclopedia of knowledge to the child but it is more about transmitting our own thoughts to our child the more relaxed you are, you are transmitting those relaxed thoughts to your child. The more stressed you are, you are transmitting those thoughts to your child. Okay, it's not just about while doing flashcard, but in general, I'm telling. During the early childhood time, zero to six years, your child is completely observing you. They're completely dependent on you. Okay, they are always with you. They always look at you as their role model. They always look at how you respond to different things, how you are uh, doing a particular thing and they follow the same things. Okay, you can also see some of the um, gestures that you be like, you know, if you be sitting like this, you can see that your child is also sitting like this. If you're posing like this for a picture, you can see that your child is also imitating the same. So children are very, very, uh, uh, you know, uh, Children are completely observing you every single second and they are completely taking you as a role model. So whatever we speak, whatever we do, whatever thoughts that we have is directly going into the child and that is what right brain education is all about. It's not about what activities you do, it's not about what flashcards you do, but as a person what are the values and thoughts that you are transmitting from you to your child is actually the right brain education because the child is wired that way the child's brain is wired that way to observe and imitate all all those um uh, they are observing everything and they are absorbing every single thing that is happening around in their environment so if you are very much worried about right brain education or fear of missing out um all of these things when you're very anxious even if you're doing flashcards with the, with these kind of anxiety then i'm very sure that it won't work okay so that is why i told you you have to be very relaxed you have to be very calm and your child also has to feel that feel good environment they can sense the environment uh, sense the um, vibration of the environment so it is very necessary for you to create that positive vibration in the environment okay so always make sure that uh, you focus on these small small things and 
once all of these things are set like removing the negative vibrations removing the stress removing the anxious work on it and you find out what are what are environment what timing can choose my child what kind of flashcards i can introduce to my child observing their current interest how can i do it with lots of love and passion and bonding with them so all of these things are the first things you need to understand first things you need to work on and then go to the next steps of you know how many flashcards how many times all of those stuff and i would love to invite you all to attend my free right brain education masterclass you can click on the link in my description to register for the free right brain education masterclass where i teach you about the baby's brain development what are the early brain uh, stimulation techniques that we use why it is so important what is right brain what is left brain what is this whole concept um why are we doing this why should we do this all of these stuff and also i will be introducing you to my uh holistic parenting universe my programs and all of those stuff so come and attend my live uh, free right brain education master class to know more about this registration link is given in my description if you have any any difficulties in registration you can go and uh, uh, contact this number you can whatsapp to this number and they will assist you to join the right brain education session okay thank you so much for join uh, watching this video and um, i want you guys to go and observe which is actually the cause for the hindrance in your right brain education uh, journey and uh, make the tweaks okay stay connected with me uh, in my youtube and my instagram i love to see you again with another wonderful video bye bye